it, and I saw some of your paintings, mm. and uh, they're very interesting. What 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 has inspired you to uh, to create some of those images? Well, I started out. Uh, that's how I met my wife. Um, um, I was born in Dayton, or I grew up in Springfield. I was born in Dayton, and I spent the first seven years there, and then went to Springfield, and went through grade school and high school, and really didn't. Um, I wasn't really motivated to do much of anything other than I was having a lot of problems with my my mother and my dad, and uh, not that I was any extremely bad cat and, and uh, wasn't hadn't done any time, any place in a detention home or anything. I wasn't stealing or you know doing anything, but it was just a, it was just a chemistry that wasn't happening between either parent. But coming out of the war, I went in the Marines when I was seventeen and. Uh, and came out, and I decided I, I wanted to paint. And uh, my dad kind of raised an eyebrow. I want to paint. Sounds like you're, I don't know, kind of queer. And I said, no. I said, uh, and of course, I was always tempted to put him on and say, oh, Daddy, why would you say that? Um, but I didn't, you know, I'd, I'd be a little frightened. He'd probably have a stroke. Uh, at any rate, I went to art school in Dayton. And uh, it was, uh, I guess I was in my third year, and I uh, met my wife. She'd gotten her, she'd gotten her BA, I believe it, at Miami. Maybe it was Drake. I, she went to several colleges, ended up getting her master's in art, art history at Ohio State. So I told her I wanted to paint. And uh, she said, I've been looking at your paintings, and you better think about another area. And go. So I, I got in with WING in Dayton and was a disc jockey. This is a long, answer to a short question, but I always wanted to paint, and I, I still paint to this day. I didn't have a style, which now we're talking about 1948, 49, and uh, of the, I, I started in 47, 48, so 47, 48, 49, and I was geared toward mostly commercial art, but I didn't have a style that I wanted to paint once I got out, and so I but I began to study other artists and uh, take a look at other people who are painting. I've always been motivated by the Native American, the American Indian, and his colors and his design. So I combined my own uh, surrealistic uh, point with um, a kind of primitive. And uh, today I'm doing a lot of sketches and things, and uh, I've got to get back to painting. I've been doing more writing than I have painting, but I miss my... I, 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 I want to paint some more, and it's always, to me, I've always considered the artist not downing the guy in show business uh, or, or in the field of entertainment, but artists seem to be a little deeper for me. They're a little more observant. Actors are damn good observers and directors and technicians, but um, they go a little bit deeper into it, and uh, that's why I kind of cling to the to the art. Yeah, you, I can see a, a resemblance in the yeah. American. And, and, yeah. And even uh, I've seen some art uh, from Canada. Yeah, Canada. right. Oh, yeah. The um, it's similar to that. The Clinket and the uh, Haidas up in, the, in, in British Columbia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, can we stand by and change tapes? <laughs> 